Uh, today, congratulations, you're here and your restaurant is going to change forever, right? So this is the kickoff of an ongoing series of workshops and educational content that is going to help anyone who is invested in improving the lives of restaurant owners and building a more sustainable F&B industry. Um, we're going to help everyone here with the content that we're going to produce. So welcome and thank you again for joining us. Uh, my name is Raz. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm the marketing lead at Chat Food. I've been in the UAE for pretty much my entire life, but I'm from South Africa. Um, in that time, I've seen a lot of my favorite home, local homegrown brands, unfortunately, come and go. But I'm here today on behalf of Chat Food to prevent that from happening and to help restaurants scale in the future. Um, joining me uh, to present a little bit later is Dario Lapp. He's the founder of a restaurant marketing agency named Fried Avocado probably uh, one of the most premier and leading restaurant marketing agencies around and a close friend and partner of Chatfood. And uh, joining as well is Nabir Karut, who I can see in the chat. Hi, Nabir. Um, he's from Sweet Indulgence UAE, which is one of the brands that use both Chatfood tools and strategy in combination with Dario's marketing services. So without further ado, this is today's agenda. Uh, before we get into it, we've done the meet the speakers part. Next, we're going to do meet the attendees. I want to know a little bit more about you guys. We'll speak about direct ordering and why it's totally essential for your future business. Um, I will show you what the direct ordering experience looks like for your customer. Let's not lose focus of that. At the end of the day, it matters about uh, what the customer sees and how they feel. And then we'll go, we'll take a deep dive into the strategy and the tools that you need to migrate your customers from your aggregator or third party channels to your direct channels. Um, <laughs> Damien, uh, thank you, Damien, for calling me handsome. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, so yes, we're going to deep dive into the strategy and tools. Uh, I hope you have a notepad. You will receive notes after this as well in an email, and there will be a recording of this. But I urge you to stay live with me, because at the end, we're going to promote a uh, little bit of a launch offer, something that we're, that we're doing to celebrate. Uh, a combined package from Strat from Chatfood and Fried Avocado that in the end can save you up to something like $2,000 um, worth of marketing and services spent. Uh, and then right at the end, we'll do a live question and answers with myself, Dario, and with Navi as well. So if you want to talk to Chatfood or you want to talk to a marketing agency or you want to talk to a restaurant owner that um, is familiar with both of us, please stay to the end to do just that. So before we get into the strategy itself. Um, I want to know a little bit more about you guys. So after dealing with more than 5,000 plus restaurants um, in Chatfoot's time, we kind of, we have a good idea of uh, who you are, what your pains are, um, and the things that you've slowly come to realize and which is part of why we exist, right? So you are a group of restaurateurs and F&B partners who have built a successful business, a homegrown brand, whether it's a restaurant or an agency. Um, of course, during that, you've poured blood, sweat, and tears into your businesses, and congratulations. Uh, as of last year, it seems like we're finally getting out of it, but you've probably survived the worst year for hospitality ever, so that's no, that's no mean feat. Congratulations, truly. And, uh, but over the last five years, not just the last one, even though the last one made it painfully clear, um, you've realized that slowly your profits have dwindled over time. You've seen on your balance sheet the increasing costs of using third parties. Um, operations and staffing have become bigger and bigger issues over time. And slowly, all of this combined has meant that you've lost what really food is all about, right? Which is connecting people in the end. Um, I'm just gonna launch a quick poll. I'd just like everyone to give us a couple answers just so we have a better understanding uh, later on when we send you emails of how we can help you. So I've just sent a question if everyone could give us it. Great. So now I know a little bit more about you guys and where you are in your journey. Now, before we get into it, um, the content that you saw that brought you here promised to help you convert your customers to your direct ordering channels. Why does that even matter? Why do you even need direct orders, ordering uh, performance anyway, right? You might be totally happy with what you have in the aggregators, but let's discuss how direct ordering helps everyone, okay? So first and foremost, the easiest, most plain, obvious answer is that, of course, when you have your direct channel, you're not paying commissions, okay? So those dwindling profits will come back. 
Um, here, Basim from Kalipoki, one of our favorite brands, uh, he makes it quite clear that it's not only the profit benefit is not only for restaurant owners; it's for your customers as well, as well, and they're going to appreciate that, right? So, because he's not paying that 35% on his direct orders, he can offer something great to his customers, and he gets a bigger piece of the pie. Of course, when you also have your direct channels, you get to build customer relationships and this data is extremely useful for marketing as Dario is going to share a little bit later. Um, but need, the ability to communicate directly with your customers means that not only you can collect reliable feedback, not only can you more finely control the experience, not only can you make sure that you always have a line open to them. Like for example, I, I mean, remember last year when uh, COVID first hit and suddenly all the taps were off and no income was coming in. You know, if you're if you're not dependent on a third party to keep that tap open, you can control your own ordering flow. I mean, there's still the government to contend with, but we'll worry about those guys later. Um, and then finally, of course, keeping control, right? So you control your customer acquisition, you control your customer experience, you control your customer retention, which is something that we'll speak a little bit more about later, is one of the steps, the retention step. And then finally, your future. If you control direct, you control your future. You're not beholden to someone else's whims, right? So Lily here, um, again, from one of my favorite brands, uh, makes it very clear she could keep all the employees during lockdown because of direct orders from the customers and essentially control her future, right? So you might be saying, that's great. Direct ordering sounds perfect. So I'll go and build my own website or my own app for my restaurant. By all means, of course, you definitely can. Um, but I'd like to show you what the tools that we've built, how they already perform and what they already do, right? So we'll play this video quickly. Restaurant owners, here's how you can sell online direct to customers through automated ordering flows on WhatsApp and Messenger or via Facebook or your website, or even with exclusive buttons and stickers on Instagram. All of this at 0% commission, empowered by Chatfood. All of these platforms link directly to a commission-free online ordering system, or to Clip. Clip is a landing page that goes beyond the LinkedIn bucket. Use it to cross-promote other brands or your other online channel. This is your online ordering system. It's customizable to suit your brand. It remembers your customers' details with single sign-on, and it can be used for delivery, pickup, or dining. Build your categorized menu and track your best performing items. And remember, all of this is happening within the social platform your customer was already using. We believe that you should own your customer relationships. So reward your loyal customers with rewarding incentives. Accept online payments without integrated payment gateway or limit customers to payment on delivery. Find it with SMS or WhatsApp notifications and live tracking courtesy of our delivery partner integration. Your customers can track their food from your kitchen to their door. Incentivize reorders with optional remarketing solutions and collect valuable customer feedback along the way. And the best part, it's commission free. So yeah, I'm not here. I'm not just here to show you like uh, chat food tools and show how pretty they are, etc. Um, what I wanted to show you is what the customer sees, right? So let's never forget that this whole time that we're talking about strategy and how to convert customers, et cetera. Um, it's important that the customer experience is still perfect and the customer still has a great time ordering from you, right? So um, please keep that video in mind as we go through all the tools. But the point here, the point to go back to, okay, direct ordering is great. So you want to build your own website or your own app? Sure, by all means, but we're already doing all the hard work, right? Um, I mean, our tech team has been working ceaselessly on this for more than almost three years now. And we're adding things all the time, right? So we're keeping up as fast as we can and we're pushing the envelope forward in many cases. So we're already doing all the hard work because to be honest, none of us can cook. Here's a photo of me attempting to make sushi. But to be honest, like let us focus on the tech and you guys focus on doing what you love, focusing on what's important, which is creating great food at great prices for customers that you love to serve and building a successful business out of it, right? So the tools that I just showed you are all part of the company I'm representing today, Chatfood, okay? And we are a complete online ordering solution and marketing solution for restaurants. Um, that, and we like to think of ourselves as enabling you to sell direct to customers and selling again to your customers and finally 
selling more. Okay, it's hidden behind my head, but that says more. So, on to the first step. Okay, the first step is convert. So this conversion is about two things, mindset and tools, okay? Remember, we're trying to get customers to move from their already ingrained habits to your direct channel, okay? And the point of this, again, is because we want their data, we want the greater margins, we want the control, all of that great stuff. Two, two things here to start talking about. One is the mindset. So the mindset that you and the customer need in order to make this happen. And two, the, the tools, the tools that facilitate this process, okay? So onto mindset. This is what usually happens, okay? So this fella on the left here, um, he wants his pizza, he's hungry. And what does he do? He does what he's always done, right? He does what uh, these aggregators have paid lots of money to make sure that he does. He goes to the aggregator app and he orders there and you get a little piece of that pie out of it, okay? That guy's not really happy because I mean, he's hungry, right? And when you're hungry and you place that order, the, your world stops until you get your food and in the end, you're not happy. So what the customer expects is they want a great experience. That's why they go to these aggregates, right? Um, they want those ridiculous discounts that are very often pushed, 30%, 40% endlessly. And of course they have app inertia, okay? So these aggregators have paid for this customer to download their app in some way or another. And now they're in that app, they're, they're just kind of doing what they're used to. What the customer doesn't realize is that this great experience means extremely tight standards from the aggregators and penalties imposed upon you from a third party, okay? The customer doesn't know about these penalties and tight standards, or maybe they wouldn't be so quick to open that app, okay? The ridiculous discounts are, of course, unsustainable, which means no profit, right? And the app inertia leads to unsustainable practices from these aggregators and third parties, which involve uh, them creating their own brands, right? Copying a lot of what the pioneering that you've done uh, selling your data to your competitors and then trying to monopolize and nobody wants that, right? I mean, I think we've all seen this from food check, uh, good friends of ours. Um, they did a breakdown of what the actual price is trying to educate the end customer. Okay. And in the end, a profit for a restaurant and a burger, according to this analysis comes up to 3.5 dirhams. So we need to fix this. So what you need to do is somehow convince your customer to bypass the app and go direct to your channel, okay? In that case, everyone's happy. They're happy, they know they're eating ethically. You're happy, you're getting the full benefits of your profit, of all your hard work, you have control, you have data, all of that stuff. How do you do this? Well, you can see this fella here on the left here, now he's having his, his brain massaged. Same thing, we'll convince our customers to move to this direct channel. The first way is with discounts and a loyalty program combined. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, I don't want, I want to make it. I want to make it quite clear here. Um, from Chatfood side, we're not trying to get everyone to use discounts for the sake of the customer thinking, "Oh, I can go there to get the cheap prices." Necessarily, right? I'm here to very clearly explain to you the specific strategy, and Dari is going to build on this later. But not only the specific strategy, but also. Um, how this actually saves you money in the long run, okay? So say, for example, you had 100 dirhams is your average basket, okay? And your cost of food was 10 dirhams. And let's say, for sake of argument, you have your own drivers. Um, the black bars are what your cost of the order is going to be on an aggregator, right? So for that first order, if they don't have a discount, you're paying that 35 dirhams of commission, okay? On your direct order, with this discount strategy, you're offering a 50% off for your first direct discount, okay? So to start with, your cost for that customer is higher than the first uh, order on an aggregator, right? But this is, again, not counting that they have a discount. If they have a discount, theirs is higher always. Now, if I go back to second, the three orders after that, right? Orders two, three, and four, these you offer at a 25% discount, a 25 dirham discount in this case. And you can see here already, by the second order, the cost of the, of the order from this customer is already cheaper than an aggregator, okay? But let's not forget that, what about all those order orders in the future? Hmm? If this customer stays with the aggregator and stays ordering from you with the aggregator, you don't get anything, essentially, from keeping that customer loyal. 
right? And that customer has no extra incentive to stay loyal. They can just as easily move to your competitor, right? But if you use a direct system, you offer them those initial conversion discounts, and thereafter you drop the discounts, the customer is going to be happy because at this point they've accrued so many loyalty points, right? So there's a loyalty program which we'll speak about more in depth later, but they've accrued so many loyalty points that they have no reason to switch. It just makes sense, right? So that's one way, the discounts and the loyalty program, conversion discounts. Next is the exclusive bundles. So one of my favorite brands, Pins Up, they are very intelligent with how they do this, okay? So on their direct chat food channel, they have exclusive bundles that they don't offer anywhere else on any of the other aggregators, okay? And their specific bundle setup is very intelligent. It is a group bundle, right? And uh, it's at a discounted price. So what does this do? Well, when are you ordering four pizzas? Well, sometimes I get hungry, sometimes I order them just for lunch. But usually most people are ordering a bunch of pizzas at a group event. So what does this do? Imagine you're at a party and someone orders a bunch of pizzas and you've saved a bunch of money because you've ordered direct. What are you gonna do? You're gonna tell everyone there, hey guys, you know, I only paid so-and-so for this amount. I've saved so-and-so. And everyone there's gonna be like, how, how did you do that? Here you go, direct. So what this does is this actually even saves further on this kind of pricing because it splits the cost of the customer acquisition, right? From one bundle, maybe you have four new people who hear about your brand and your direct ordering channel. It's genius. Um, so here we go, everyone's happy, right? You've successfully converted the customer to your direct channel using conversion discounts, using exclusive bundles, using a loyalty program. We've talked about the mindset, right? Now we're going to the specific tools on how to convert them elsewhere, right? Including offline and including other places online. So for delivery, here's a great example from Poke Co. Okay? In their bags, they've got these stickers, hashtag support local, which is an initiative that we started last year, and I'll share more about that later. But they've also got QR codes in their bags, as well as links to their social media, their website, a call to action to order direct, okay? And they push this all over social media. So here, a customer, this is a screenshot of one of their customers resharing this. Perfect, this is exactly what you want. For pickup, here's a video that I'll play uh, from Project Chaiwala. So they've got this stand outside the branch. You scan the QR code and boom, you're in the menu. So not only does this ease your operations because you don't have to have someone standing outside there with an iPad or paper menus, someone running to the car, whatever it is, curbside or walking pickup, this eases your operations and you're collecting that data to use later. And you're getting them into that exclusive discounts, loyalty, conversion strategy that we've already spoken about. And then finally, you can do the same for dine-in, right? So here's an example from Wingsters. So they've got these uh, table tents with the QR code, again, that links to the menu. So you can see, put your camera up, tap it, and then you're in. And again, here you can apply the same strategies of first-time discounts, loyalty, etc. So that's all the all the offline stuff, right? Uh, contactless dining as well. You'll get a link to this in the email after, but it has benefits beyond just uh, conversion. Okay, there's benefits for the customer as well. It's COVID compliant. Uh, you pay at the table. It eases your operations and on and on. I'll let you guys read this later. So that was all the offline stuff using the mindset. But what about the other problem we discussed, which was the app inertia? So these customers are already used to their third-party apps. What do you do? Well, you don't ask them to download a new app, first of all. You use the apps that everyone in, I mean, every day it gets closer and closer to the entire world. You use the apps that people are already using for hours a day, right? Every social media channel, WhatsApp, SMS, Instagram, your, web, your website, they might already be on your website, via Google, right? Via YouTube, via TikTok. You can use every single sales channel and the customer doesn't have to download yet another app. I'll play here a quick video on the Instagram order food button. So of course there's all these different sales channels. We don't have time to talk about all of them. One of the most important is um, getting access to the order food button to monetize your followers. And uh, we've got a partnership with Instagram that allows chat food restaurants to put this link uh, in their Instagram profile and bio. How does the Instagram order food button and sticker benefit restaurants in the Middle East and Europe? 
Well, thanks to Instagram, Chatfoot has been able to bring 4,000 plus of our restaurant partners closer to their followers with the intuitive order food buttons and stickers. This is the story sticker. And this is the profile button from a local homegrown brand we love called Coffee and Co. These useful tools make it easy to order direct. And the result? Some of our restaurant partners have seen their volume of direct orders triple after implementing the order food buttons and stickers. And almost a third of all chat food orders now come by Instagram through the story sticker, profile button, or ad placements. Here's what some of our restaurant partners are saying. Enable your Instagram order food buttons and stickers to turn your followers into customers, courtesy of the Instagram and Chuckle partnership. So yeah, uh, we have more resources on that which you'll get after this um, workshop. So basically, this is you now after you've uh, ingested the mindset and after you've learned and understood all the tools, you're in control, right? You've got the conversion brain, you've got the conversion tools, and you're armed ha, 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 with all the tools that you need to convert. Now you've done that, you've uh, successfully convinced the customer and they don't even realize it, right? Because they've got their great discounts, they've got their loyalty, and they've had that amazing Atlas experience. They didn't have to do any work. Um, now it's your it's your chance to retain them, right? So you need to keep these customers. Uh, and how do you do that? We've got specific tools and mindset just for this as well. So let's speak about that. We're going to talk about three today, SMS, email, and the loyalty program. But of course, there's many more. There's WhatsApp, there's uh, Facebook Messengers, anywhere that you can now connect directly with your customer, thanks to the fact that you have their data. So the first one we'll speak about is the email, is automatic reactivation reminders. What is this? Basically, say your customer ordered from you once, and for whatever reason, your second uh, discount didn't convince them to come back. Maybe they just forgot. Maybe they went traveling. You can automatically send them a customizable branded email reminder with a set of customizable uh, parameters that is going to reactivate your customer. Right? And this all happens included in your Chatfoot package within your dashboard, and it's a set it and forget it. Okay, so you set the parameters, you set the rules, let it go. It happens for free, it happens automatically, and you can just watch the reorders come in and in and in and watch your retention percentage go up and up and up. It's super simple, right? Um, I mean, you can even uh, you can even decide the frequency, right? So how when does it go out? After 14 days after the last order or 30 days? And you can even experiment with the optimum time to send. So for example, if you're a lunch concept, you probably want to send it uh, in the late morning. If you're a dinner concept, you probably want to send it in the late afternoon. And uh, yeah, we, we also have some very exciting data on how effective this has been that we will be sharing in the revolution group at the end, no spoilers. So that was the email activation reminder, but we're also working on uh, activation reminders via WhatsApp and SMS. But aside from that, you can also schedule your own uh, SMS campaigns through the dashboard. So again, what you do is click a couple of buttons in your dashboard. Uh, you set the parameters. You choose the content of the message. We usually uh, advise, as we do with the conversion discounts, to include an offer to reactivate this customer. And we'll go into the cost on that in a second. But SMS, I mean, people, whenever we mention SMS, people kind of roll their eyes and they're like, uh, SMS, because you think that you're not um, responding to your SMSs. But I mean, the data speaks for itself, okay? Look at this. This is not uh, Pinza's order volume, by the way. This is an aggregate average of a bunch of restaurants um, based on research that we did on a bunch of restaurants. So you can see not only does sending the SMS produce a spike, right? It produces quite a dramatic spike in your order volume, but it also increases your basal order volume, okay? And we're not totally sure as to why yet, but what we theorize is that it helps you stay Top of mind, same thing with the automatic reminders, right? Your customer is getting direct communication from you, and this is grooving a channel in their mind for them to always return to, aha, I'm hungry, that place has loyalty points, that place has discounts, I'll return and return and return. And the great thing is you don't have to send these notifications, you don't have to pay to send these notifications through an app. You don't have to pay an email, an email engine to do this. This goes straight to your customer's phones. Perfect. 
And then finally, the loyalty program, we've touched on this a little bit before, uh, but basically within your direct ordering menu, you have your own customizable loyalty program, okay? So you can customize the max claim back that the customer can do, the percentage of points that they get. It's a cashback system, essentially. And uh, I mean, this is ridiculously effective, ridiculously effective. So here, for example, you can see, this is some of the research that we've done from uh, all of the all of the loyalty program data that we've had from all the restaurants. And you can see that with loyalty, your average GMV, your average uh, revenues per month are 180% higher. And I mean, these numbers look bogus, right? But this is us con like comparing chat food customers that are using the loyalty program and chat food customers that aren't. And again, it's just a matter of setting the switches and forgetting about it, right? I mean, if we look at the order frequency, an extra 40% just from having the loyalty program. And days of engagement, the returning users, remember what we spoke about before, those returning orders again and again and again, it's 68% higher. So Damien, to your point on what you're offering them uh, in this retention in the loyalty, let's talk about the frequency, right? And we'll talk about the actual um, returns. So the frequency before offering the loyalty program was 1.6 orders per user on average, right? After the loyalty program, that number went up immediately to 2.36 or an average increase of 47%. And if we go to the values, you can see the actual revenue that came in for brands that had loyalty and the brands that didn't have loyalty was an extra 180%. So even though you're giving away a little bit, what you're giving away is a lot smaller compared to all of those continual rewards that the customer gets. But yes, of course, uh, Damien, you're right. Like, um, it needs the content needs to be correct of the loyalty program. Uh, the messaging needs to be correct, and that's all something that uh, we have the tools and we have templates to help you with getting started. But you, as your restaurant owner, you know your customers best because you have the data, because you have a direct relationship with them. Perfect. And then finally. Uh, you've converted the customer successfully, you've retained the customer successfully using conversion mindset discounts, using exclusive bundles, using loyalty program, using QR codes, all over the place. The customer has had no choice but to convert and stay. And now finally, how do you scale? How do you reach more customers in this manner, right? Outside of conversion necessarily. Well, we've got deep integrations with a number of tools, but uh, to speak more on this, I'm going to now bring on Dario Lab from Fried Avocado, restaurant marketing specialist, and he's going to speak a little bit more on this strategy and the effects that it's had on some of the brands. Okay, thanks, Raz. Um, we had very good insights so far. And also on these live webinars, I'm getting a bit nervous and I've started speaking very fast. So I apologize and I try my best to keep it low um, and slow. So in this part of the webinar, we will speak about how to use paid marketing to acquire uh, customers to direct channels without burning marketing budgets and maybe we answer a few questions from Abdullah of how to get more um, into the strategy. So there's also two parts. The first part is the mindset and the expected return on investment when investing into paid advertising. Um, and uh, the second part is what is required to, you know, to, to start this and uh, when you maybe you shouldn't do it. Um, the mindset and return on investment is the mindset in general should be uh, yes, Mohammed is mass marketing is chargeable. Um, the mindset should be building a second and profitable stream of orders beside third party aggregators and the food platforms. This mindset is not, uh, if you invest into paid marketing, if you get chat food, the idea is not to get a short spike of orders. Um, the idea is to, um, let's say you have a, a total a thousand orders on total aggregators. Um, and you can migrate 10 to 20% in the first months. That's the mindset, right? So it's not about migrating everyone in within the first months to your direct channels. It's about consistently migrating 10 to 20% uh, to your direct orders, if it, uh, be it uh, chat food, calls, whatever. Um, that's all, all we try to do. And the return investment is really ranges from three to 12, really depending on the margin of your food, the locations, the food cost, um, how many branches you have, uh, all these things. Um, and yeah, again, the idea is to migrate 10 to 20% every month uh, to your direct channels. Another big part is the advertising mindset and ads in general are great. Like marketing in general is good for you. Um, and there's benefits that are hard to track. Uh, let's say you 
run the old days and you um, you uh, you run uh, newspaper articles, uh, advertising's there, or some old school billboard ads. You know these times are over. Um, nowadays we have this is the Facebook dashboard. We have cool tools to track it. We can see um, how many how many times the link was clicked, um, how many purchases do we have, and also what's the total ROAS, the return on ad spend. That means if you spend five thousand dirhams, if you have a ten x ad spend, you uh, probably had a revenue of 50,000 germs here. Um, also, what's important is hard to track marketing ideas. For example, the usual customer journey is someone sees an ad. This is actually the ad from Sweet Indulgence from Nabi. We have uh, we have here as well, and we talk about it later. Um, let's see the customer sees an ad online on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, we expect them to go to the direct channels straight away, right? And to also make the purchase straight away. Um, that's not always the case. Right. Uh, usually, uh, I mean, as an alternative customer journey would be: they see an ad, they see the Instagram profile first, because before purchasing something, they want to make sure that they know, um, you know, that, that, that the tools are uh, that, uh, that the pick that, that sorry the products are. See what I mean with getting nervous? Um, that the products are, are great that they have, and it actually suits what they what they're looking for. Um, but then their kid uh, starts screaming, and they can't find this rubber ducky. Uh, and you know the customer gets distracted. They don't know, and they go to, to the mall at the same time. But in the mall, Nabi has a shop, uh, the Sweden Dyson shop, and it, that's, that's that's a random picture. That's not actually Nabi's shop. Uh, it's a Google image for cake. So, um, but yeah, the the mom who wants to order some cake, they go to the um, to the cake shop, and you know purchase the cake there. So, in the end, the ad still initiated the purchase in the shop, but we couldn't track it. And this is in general. Advertising is great because you get exposed to the brand and there's much more to it than in pure uh, black and white data. Um, the next step we I want to talk about is what is a proven offer strategy uh, and how we can use it to migrate your customers from your um, uh, aggregator channels to your direct channels. So let's say you have the first offer, which is 50% off your first order, right? I mean, it seems a bit high, but I will come to that later. Let's say you get 50% off your first order, um, the customer orders from you. So now we are going to launch a second coupon code, which is 25% on your next five orders. The idea of that is to migrate your customers to slowly give them a benefit of giving up aggregators and come to your direct channels. So they have your five, they had your five orders now. So in total, they have already six orders. The last step is to enable the chat food uh, loyalty system which uh, enables them to uh, order, you know, to get more benefits by um, by ordering more more, uh, more from you. And uh, again, the orders can vary. It's not about 50%, it's not about 25%. It can be 30% and 10%. It can even be 10% and 5%. It's more about the, the, the customer journey of they get slowly used to ordering direct and we need to give them a benefit um, of giving up their convenience of ordering from the aggregators. And the easiest way to achieve that is by slowly integrating them into your mic or migrating them into your own channels. Um, and yeah, this is a, the goal is to bond them to you forever because the more they order, the more loyalty points they save. Um, and the more loyalty points they have, the more often they're gonna order and the more they've been reminded on, on your restaurant, on your products. Uh, we do this right now for this, this example, the 50%, 25% and the loyalty. Uh, we currently do that for a restaurant and it's producing up to three and a half to 5,000 orders per month with an average ROI of six to 12. Again, this really uh, depends on the restaurant and your products and your locations and all that. But um, yeah, that's possible. Uh, again, we have uh, the mindset on content, right? The mindset and visuals because visuals and advertising or marketing are super, super important. The, the, the photos you, you know, you show your customers. Um, and yeah, sorry, the first one was what you see is what you eat and your competitors know that. So let's say you have a product uh, which tastes super nice, um, it's selling super well in your shop, and you make a picture with your phone and you you know launch it on, as an advertisement or as a, as a, as, a, as an organic post, um, and it's not doing that well. Your competitor, your his product is less delicious, let's say, but they use um, like one of those cameras we use here, like a DSLR camera. It's super high definition. It makes the background nice and blurry, um, and they run it as an ad, and the customers might feel that this product. You know, it takes better because the visuals are better. And who gets the sale? Most probably the one with the better picture. So um, that's also part of the next mindset. 
content that has worked organically will also work paid and even better. So if you have a product or if you have a picture that worked in you know Instagram, Facebook very well, um, don't like don't hold back spending uh, on advertising. If you have a, a post that worked usually better than, uh, than other ones, click the promote button. It's not a bad thing. Promote button drives uh, a lot of traffic to your sites, to your direct channels, um, to your Instagram, to Instagram profiles. So that's a good thing. If you run ads, uh, use the ones that work better organically as well. Another big, 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 big thing that we as an agency face all the time, um, restaurants come to us and they invest into uh, advertising, but then we look at the pictures and the content and, uh, and the photos and they're not really great. So again, back to the first step, invest into, uh, into photographs and content first before you invest any marketing um, efforts. And I think Chatfood has a internal content agency for people in, du in Dubai. So if you want to look for content, um, high quality content shoots, just uh, go to the dashboard in the marketing, there should be a button for, for chat food um, content. Um, we don't offer content. We edit, uh, we edit content ourselves. Like we make pictures, like we, we create videos, we create pictures um, on, a, on a graphic design level, but we don't really shoot them. And again, the advantages of Facebook and Instagram because it's a high, hyper visual platform. If people go on um, Instagram, if you go on Facebook, they expect pictures, they expect uh, videos to see. And if you're up to the customer, if you if you see them on eye height level, you'll be with them all the time. So um, there's one more rule I want to show you or I want to share with you is the rule of how to sell anything online. And this rule is trust. If you build trust with the customer, if you think about it, if you go to a restaurant, if you go to any shop and you want to buy a product, uh, and you go up to the counter, you see a person talking to you, you see um, people in the shop, there's a lot of trust, you you know that there's someone invested into like, let's say the building or the rent, like the, the products. Um, if you do something online, the difficult thing is that you don't know, um, that you don't know of how to, uh, how to, how to, how to trust these, um, these people who are selling something to you online. And another big part is that how, where like the customers are asking themselves, where's my money going if I put my credit card, right? And that's the importance of an ordering system. And of course I'm here with Chatfood and I appreciate that they have me here on board, but I can honestly say that Chatfood is one of the best platforms to use uh, paid advertising and also to use as an ordering system. The reason is, um, I mean, it's just database. The conversion rates um, on Chatfood, like code traffic onto Chatfit can be up to 10%. The usual online conversion rate is like one to 2%. Chatfood is up to 10%. Um, and uh, also Ben, the founder of Chatfood, is a very important part of that. You have to understand that Ben worked at Facebook for seven years and Facebook is an advertising platform. So Ben took some ideas of Facebook and implemented them into Chatfood. I don't want to get too techy here, but it's things like the Facebook pixel. It's like um, the ordering, the order tracking. It's the way uh, the, the the quick checkout, um, what do you call it? The, the, fast checkout, they have a name for it, but they have certain um, items and certain procedures and features um, that are yeah good for conversion rates and they've been integrated to Chatfood from the start. So that's why we use Chatfood as a preferred platform and uh, we always recommend Chatfood to anyone. Accelerate checkout. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> so um, here we have some positive examples of content and uh, what worked in the past. Uh, you'll, be under you'll be surprised of um, how simple videos can be and how effective they can be. So I'm going to play this video first. So this is a very boring, sorry, this is a very boring video. Um, but what the customers, the customer wants to know, okay, what do I get? What's the, the offer? Like what's the, the items that I'm ordering? What's the offer? And uh, of course the brand is important, but this video made a lot of revenue for, for, for the restaurant. And uh, it's really simple why it's, it's a good product. It looks nice. The discounts, there was this discount code is very clearly presented. Um, and uh, it's just uh, a good video. It made, it made a lot of better revenue for the cluster, for the client. The next video is from uh, what we have here. <laughs> Also, um, very simple, um, but again, the content is great. We, we know what we get, what's the offer, um, and it worked pretty well.
Okay, we go to the pictures, um, positive examples of pictures. Uh, this picture worked pretty well. It's funky, it's, it screams funkiness, it screams modernness. Um, it's patata, I think patata is, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a street food item in, in Lebanon. Uh, it's just fries and pickles. Uh, but this picture shows how cool it can look when you put some thought into content. Um, same for this one, a chicken garlic pizza, somehow with the colors, with the pink badges, looks really cool. Um, people click on it. And all these, again, so all these pictures we're gonna show here had super great conversions. So we're just not gonna show you some random pictures. We know that all the content here, they, uh, they work super well in the past. Um, different example, no badges, no funkiness. But if you think of a burger, this is how I imagine a burger, right? So um, this is from a place called High Joint in Dubai. Um, doing really good because it's just great content. It's just a simple, plain picture of a burger, but the burger itself is super nice, right? Um, here we have the pinza example again. Um, mention bundles, mention how much it is, mention what's included in the content, uh, and a call to action. And uh, again, this is uh, another good example of good content. Um, yeah, cool, Abdullah. That's, uh, that's a good start. Um, the last picture is uh, a sausage uh, from Sausage Fabrique. And again, super high quality. It, it screams trust, if you, want, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it screams someone thought about how to present it. It screams what someone thought about how to, how to cook the item. And then that speaks usually for itself. And uh, yeah, and now I think I wanted to bring in Nabi from Sweet Indulgence. I might. Sorry. Oh no, did he get shy? <laughs> Thanks, Ingrid. And yes, Dario, you did great. Thank you so much for sharing those amazing insights, even though we have some more to come. Here we go. Here comes Nabi. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hello. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you very well. Welcome, Nabi. Uh, I'm very pleased to meet you, but you and I will speak later. Please, uh, please have a little discussion with Dario and I'll monitor the chat and I'll bring your questions forward later. Yeah, of course. Hi, Hi Dario. Thanks for the content. Uh, very informative so far. Cool, man. Thanks, Nabi. Uh, anyways, so the question, like the, the open question that I uh, and Raz on chat would have for you, what did change in the last, I think, 13 months since you used chat food, since you used our services, since you started this process, like since you started migrating your customers to dark channels, what, what happened in your business? And maybe make a, a small introduction of who you are and what you do at the moment. Yeah, of course. So uh, my, as I said, my name is uh, Nabi and we, I own a, a specialty cake uh, shop. Uh, I consider myself to have been very lucky to come across the right information at the right time. I remember, um, few months ago, somewhere in the middle of uh, 2020, when I started uh, my journey with Chap Food, I realized the importance of content. And that came actually from one of the uh, Chap Food uh, webinars. And I also, um, so I invested in creating the right content. And then I invested in uh, enhancing my ability to deliver. So it's because I wanted to grow my own delivery uh, channel. And uh, then in December, I was one of those uh, webinars uh, where I got introduced to uh, Dario and Fried Avocado uh, when I was ready to start more of a targeted uh, marketing. Um, Dario and myself, we set a target of doubling our direct orders. And uh, by the end of the three months, we did more than triple. Actually, as of yesterday, we did three and a half times. So I think, I think that was a, a, a very good um, outcome uh, we certainly overachieved uh, our our target so i'm i was very happy with it cool uh, that's very good to hear thanks a lot for that um and also a, a bit of uh, insights for the people who are here in the rest like what what do you think uh restaurant owners should do first if they want to start this process um well the one that i recommend the one that worked for me very well is start with investing on your content it's uh, as you said earlier on online your eye eats before you and um so you 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 shop with your eyes so it has to be visually appealing and uh, so investing and creating good content is is very uh, beneficial and very essential uh, the second step that I also did, and I remember we, I discussed it with Dari when I first met him, is enhancing your ability to deliver. Because something that I uh, I realized is that when I grow uh, my direct uh, orders, I'm going to have to 
deliver them uh, myself. And um, I, using Chat Food, I was able to integrate uh, third-party uh, delivery uh, providers with the Chat Food platform itself. So whenever I receive an order, I can request uh, delivery directly on Chat Food. So that went great. Because I was thinking the other day when we tripled our orders, if I didn't have that set up, I would have had a lot of hungry, hungry um, customers because I wouldn't have been able to deliver on time as promised. And uh, finally, um, the third step is yes, we need to invest in targeted marketing. Uh, because when I, I, before reaching out to Dario, I tried to do that in house because we're still relatively small. And while I was paying uh, on Facebook and similar budget to what you know Dario was uh, working with. I've noticed that Dario was able to get a lot more return on the same money, a lot of more conversions on the same budgets. So um, while Facebook advertising might look easy-ish um, to really go into a specific marketing and increasing ROI, that is, that is an expertise that you're better off going to the right people. The same as going to the right people for content, you need to go to the right people for targeting. Sounds, yeah, I agree. Um, of course, everyone should maybe start um, advertising you know, themselves in the beginning to see, get a feel for it. And then, uh, of course, as long as the revenue and the budget it allows, you should give it to someone maybe who you know, has better knowledge about this. Um, but uh, again, that's a super cool insight. Uh, what do you think uh, are the top two or top three tools that you use from Chatfoot right now to, uh, require, to acquire and also retain the customers? Uh, to the top three tools from uh, chat food. Uh, well, the, the, I love how easy it is to create and add to the menu. I definitely uh, use that uh, to bring in, because, uh, you know, I, I'm in the cake business and there's monthly occasions like Mother's Day uh, that we just had or Valentine's. So I love how easy it is to uh, create new items and promotions. Uh, so in creating new items, the second is creating new promotions on the fly. That is a tool that I like from the marketing tools that I, I found um, uh, very handy. And then the third is the um, third party uh, delivery integration. Uh, that really was very, very, was very easy to just call and request a delivery partner to deliver orders. Right. And I think the delivery partner access, uh, the third party access to the integration is super important. Um, for everyone here who has any kind of delivery on board. Um, would you mind sharing one or two insights or like tips and tricks that you have for the people here uh, in terms of the delivery drivers? Oh, yes. Uh, so um, there is there is options. So the, the first one is try to set up with uh, one or two because there is a lot of demand on these delivery drivers and uh, getting two partners um, would be beneficial because sometimes one partner will be uh, too busy to provide a driver so you can always have a second one to fall uh, on the second is get the integration done because you do not want to be doing the uh, delivery request manually. It will just add time to your uh, staff in the job and it will open door for mistake. So Chatfood offers a direct integration with uh, many uh, delivery partners. So you absolutely have to get that done straight away. Cool. Um, I think it was some, was some cool insights for now. Uh, what we want to do is, um, I think there's a lot of people in the chat who might have some Maybe personal questions to Raz, to me, to you. Um, which partner do you have? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do a Q and A right at the end. But um, from my side, Nabi, uh, thank you so much. I mean, those are amazing insights, and we wish you further success. Um, truly, like I have one last question for you. Like, if you go back to your initial goals and your initial aspirations when you started around with sweet indulgence, like, what did you hope to achieve? And I'm not necessarily talking about numbers or proportions anything like that like what is it that you wanted uh from opening this business or from running this business and are you closer to achieving that now yeah thanks that's a great question so my strategy was about becoming the number one um destination for specialty cake specifically asian specialty cakes that was a gap that I realized in the market and I want to be the number one destination for that one. Um, so so that's, I, I believe 
part of that strategy to achieve it was to uh, open up digitally. So it, I couldn't only rely on uh, on uh, walk-ins and, and and store brick and mortar. Uh, and I started the business, or I started in, in January. So two years, uh, two months after, or two or three months, um, the conditions accelerated uh, my digital journey uh, quite a lot. And um, that's where I believe I was very lucky to come across uh, food because starting an online direct delivery was a very smooth, very easy um, uh, journey for me. Uh, it did art with my own pictures that Dario said from my phone and uh, <laughs> because you know we're, we're racing we're one of the you have to start somewhere you have to start somewhere I mean you you said it best like you need to invest in the content and you learned that from your experience you know uh, yeah. but uh, yeah perfect so like again we wish you further success uh, please stay on the line um, just mute yourself we'll, I'll do a quick wrap up and then at the end we'll do a QA. and a uh, and if anyone wants to ask you something if you're open to answering um, of course. Yeah. Thanks again. Uh, Thanks, very much. Everyone, please go and check out Sweet Indulgence UAE on Instagram and give them a follow. So, uh, thanks again, Dario. Uh, so, yeah, again, Dario's contact and uh, ways that you can reach out to him will be in the group that I'm about to speak about. Thank you, Dario. Thanks. <laughs> um, have a seat. Have a seat. Come in. Come in. Come sit next to me. Yeah. We'll do the Q&A together. Yeah. OK. OK. Um, so to summarize, guys, uh, before we close, remember, there's still an offer coming. But until now, we've spoken about uh, three pillars, right? And this is another way to say this is selling direct, selling again, and selling more. Basically, we've taught you today how to convert your customers to your direct channels, how to retain those customers and make sure that they come back. And then finally, how to scale your online business, right? Um, with the help of chat with tools and with partnerships with marketing agencies like Fried Avocado. Uh, I know it was a lot of information. So a lot of people are asking whether this is going to be recorded, what's gonna happen next. What's gonna happen next is you're gonna receive an email. Uh, you will receive a recording of this webinar. Um, and yeah, you'll get all this information again. And of course, like uh, now you're part of this community, right? So we call this restaurant revolution and it is April 1st, but it's not a joke. We really are here to revolutionize the FNB world, right? All over the world, right? Just like now we're all here from the GCC. Um, and part of this is not just, uh, so part of this is two things, right? One, we can all, as Nabi just said, go along our stumbling blocks as we try and expand and grow and run into things and pay that money to learn that lesson. Or we can share knowledge with each other because together we're not necessarily even competitors, right? Together we are empowering each other and we are we have power in numbers against the big corporations, right? Um, so from our side, from Chatfoot's side, we're going to offer you more webinars like this, more community knowledge like this, and expert advice from our research, our analysis. And we're also going to connect you with amazing partners like Dario, like Fried Avocado, uh, who can really help take your business to that next level. But on that note, what's going to happen next is uh, there's three different ways that you can then take your restaurant to the next level along this journey. One, you're going to receive an email, which is going to have all the information and a recording. Two, we have a closed Facebook group, okay, called the Restaurant Revolution. And uh, maybe I should stop recording at this point. But basically, this is for people like you who've, who've attended this webinar, okay. And in this group, we're going to share our cutting edge tips and tricks, offers, tools, upcoming, uh, upcoming events, upcoming activations, all sorts of things that are going to help you not only convert to your, your customers to your direct channel, but also scale your business in a sustainable way. Okay, so I'm going to just launch a little pop up that you should all see now. And uh, this is our restaurant revolution group. Um, if you click that link, it should open a new tab. So just click that link now and have that tab open. And then after this webinar, you can go about filling in your information to get in the group. Everyone who attended today will be allowed into the group. But uh, going forward, we do have some questions um, to be answered before you can be let in. Uh, so that's one way. The other way is in the email, you also get a link where you can book a demo. 
if you're not yet with Chat Food, if you are already with Chat Food, or if you're not a restaurant, if you're a partner and you want to speak about collaborating and ways that we can all help each other, um, you can book a consulting call and you can speak with myself or you can speak with Ben, one of our sales guys, whoever is the best fit uh, for your requirement. So you'll get a link to that as well. And then finally, this little newspaper emoji here. Uh, how's my emoji used, by the way? Perfect. Perfect emoji used. Um, finally, the last thing I was going to say is we do we do share educational content uh, wider outside of the group as well, and we do share what's coming up, what we're doing, and uh, that will the links to our blogs, to our educational material, to other webinars, to our YouTube. That's all going to be um, in the email that you receive after this, and in the group for that matter. Um, so, does anyone have any? I mean, we've got a lot of questions, so we're going to start making our way through them. Nabi, are you there? Yes, I am here. Great. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll just go through our chat. Uh, Dario and I have been marking questions until now, and uh, we'll just try and we'll answer all of them. Right. So we're not going to leave until all of your guys' questions are answered. Uh, Nabi, you are not held hostage. Okay. If you need to leave, that's fine. We understand. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. You were Damien before, right? So, yeah, Damien has been in Damien has been in all of our webinars and he always has amazing things to say. I need Damien, I need to meet you, man. <laughs> Still people in here. They can't get in they can't get in the, the, the handsome guy. Yeah, sorry. The handsome guy. I look more handsome when I sit next to you. Hmm. <laughs> you have more hair than me. <laughs> on your yeah, here and on your head. I need to shave, man. Yeah. Uh. 